What's going on? Today is December the 26th. It is Monday, Moon Day. And today we're talking about motherfucking shadow wars. That's right. Subconscious wars, hidden wars within the world. Things that, that agitate us. Things that, you know, we see ourselves having to do, but we don't really necessarily want to do, want to be. And, you know, based on your geographical location, your religion, you know, your family, your bloodline, and things like that. You may be looked at uh, a particular way whenever you're trying to be that. Uh, or, you know, a good way when you're trying to conform uh, to whatever is going on in the world. And there's no necessarily, you know, right or wrong. It's just uh, a subconscious pathway that the shadow government already created for you. So a predestination that can be calculated uh, through predetermination and shit like that. So you can sit down there, determine uh, valuables, value, and shit like that, and trade value, and things like that. Because currency really is just our ability to even think and feel and believe in something and having faith in that. So the many people around the world that put that energy into whatever has already been put out in front of them in the form of religion, you know, entertainment, you know, politics is a big one. Um all these things around us and when we really look at look at these things it's not really things that s uh, serve us as a whole because we can all contribute in such a way and create a society that's you know much more you know better than this medium of like money and things like that but that's a subconscious war and that's believing that that actually has some kind of value in reality or is helping God in any kind of way because in God we trust that is a different thing than what you're led to believe but see it's right in front of you but you're so blind to it because you're just caught up in the whole idea you're caught up in thinking they talk about they talk about God they talk about God or some shit but you know it's not it's literally like a trust and shit like that <laughs> like it's that type of shit so you know these are elements of the shadow wars and things like that uh, hidden in front of us in plain sight in society but now the shadow war is much more independent uh, to us because you know there's outer spheres there's inner spheres and then there's earth uh, I don't even know if it's called the stratosphere or not but you know there's earth and things like that so we're all placed at a different position on the earth which produces a different polarity if you want to track things like ley lines or like all the indigenous people that were indigenous to that land and the way they behaved and act and things like that because we just derived out of the flesh just like right now you have like flesh in your hand and bones and you're constantly giving birth to cells it's just the same shit but it's just on a bigger scale so that's like you graduating from the second and first and second dimension where you created a thought and feeling and you brought these things together to create a body create a membrane a water bubble for your mind to travel in and things like that so this is what's kind of crazy when you're talking about setting up a, a subconscious predetermined predestination and you know it already be, being taken into their consideration and they just transmuting you in the highest level and you just we just sit there the whole time like oh i don't have any power oh i don't know what to do oh i need jesus oh i need to go to the mosque and pray five times a day and things like that so that's what they basically did they took your energy and encapsulated it into uh, a lexicon and you know a couple of different spells and things like that because they just harnessed that light of the day moon that we're traveling through which is just the day and then they just based on them having the technology and things like that they can just direct that light better as far as them being able to get out that feeling or thought way faster because we're actually interacting with the cosmos as a uh, as a sim symbiotical being, you know? Like, it's just, it's symbiosis. We have this constant relationship with ourselves, you know? With, like, these different spheres, which are different aspects of ourselves, which represent different keys of manifestations and things like that, which is just, like, the sun to Pluto, which is, like, one to nine. And you can create carving new diameters in between in between these um, in between these sephiroths and shit like that in between these worlds so that's like you know them being able to harness a group of people on earth 
even if they're up there. So, so you know, yeah, just like down here, how, how people are like poor poverty, you get your energy harness the same shit over there because you already subscribe to that virtue and principle. And so, you know, they're basically, uh, you know, encapsulating your mind. They're basically clapping that shit. They, they slap that shit up third-dimensional wise and you know put trauma fear uh, mistrust in others around you because you're gonna remember they've been practicing these tactics for a very very long time this particular group of you know the shadow government and things like that so when you understand all, all, all angles of attack when you you know have all these grimoires and shit like that when you have the experience all a different education it's it's a game that most people cannot even play. Like most people do not even stand a chance in today's age. It's, you know something has to really slap you the fuck up for you to, uh, you know, wake up. And that's what we're here to do because we're always gonna be manifesting what's on our thoughts, what's on our mind, anyways. So you know, there's a lot of ways to attack somebody in life. It doesn't have to be necessarily financially. It could be in their it could be in their family structure. Boom. That's what we see uh, being done to like you know. Black communities find a ways to separate the mother and father and things like that. So that's why the topic of subconscious wars is very important. But the darkness that's within you that you're trying to exercise or, you know, take hold, take control over or hold again with your encoding basically just got, got hijacked by somebody else and they're hijacking it in every way. Like, you know. In every way possible you can imagine. So, you know, they're taking advantage of all energies, all angles, all situations, all circumstances. And they got something for you. They got medicine for everybody. Come to the pharmacy, bitch. Come get this mental chemistry. <laughs> real shit. Yeah, they, they got you guys real good. They got people real good. It's they, This game is crazy, bro. I'm telling you. So, you be really, you be really doing things from these fallen stars in the form of celebrities in front of you and you trying to reduplicate their ability and people trying to reduplicate other people's success and things like that wow who the fuck said that you were here to be and do like somebody else this is the dangerous thing with you silencing you know your ability to transmute to move to create a wave to create a vibration to have like you know your own to actually create a spark of energy and to create I, I, a vibe, a vibration that surrounds you and to maintain that and then to take flight in the astral realm and shit like that. Um, that's what they don't want you guys to do because the moment you guys walk away from the intellectual property, they'd be like, oh, no, come here. We'll give you guys 50 bucks coupons. Okay, yeah, all that type of shit. So, but it takes for the people to have, you know, have strong minds and to know what's going on. That's why, like, but at the same time, like, the people themselves are stupid as fuck. Ain't no doubt about that either. Ain't no doubt about that either. And I'm right there with the, peop with the people. I'm not saying I'm trying to say the people or anything like that. But I, becoming aware of that, I must, you know, maneuver differently and create an example and lead in an area where there's virtually no example. And, you know, take that into a territory where people are just essentially Gentiles. And this is why a lot of the times these, you know, Jewish motherfuckers or these people that understand witchcraft, you know, necromancy, sorcery, which, you know, you got to learn eventually because you, you can't get lost in the term and the word that they want you to get you to get lost in. You can't get lost in that. You got to understand what you're actually dealing with. Because when you understand what you're dealing with, then you're going to understand, oh, okay, this is why I walk in the mosque. And, you know, I just want to feel and think of purity. You know, this is why I wash myself. Because all of these are just uh, duplications of, you know, something that you're already doing internally. And this is why we do rituals externally and things like that. But it's up to us to program ourselves to interpret whatever we're uh, taking in externally. You give that shit uh, meaning, you know. You don't let motherfuckers play with your fucking mind out here. And I'm telling you, they got you on some in some deep, deep, deep witchcraft that like, you know, only when you're because you got to have. That's why you got to have a personal relationship with your God. So it's important to have a personal relationship with your God. 
Because your God is not like anybody else's God. The areas of your chakras, your minds, your wheels don't express themselves like how other people express themselves and things like that. But you know, based on us developing certain traumas and based on us participating in certain areas that have been already provided for you in the form of predestination, as far as them tracking that reference point of you, know, of them knowing that you's a motherfucking demon, they can know how to encapsulate you and be like, "Ah, oh, nah, come here. Let's just coddle. Let's not, you know, let's not fix the problem. There's nothing wrong. Oh, you want to go change your sex and get and you know what I'm saying change your, yourself from dick to pussy? Oh." No problem. That's that's great. It's about feeling good, brother. They got they got the game sold up. They got the game sold up. They're making money in every way. It's not enough that they harness the motherfucking metals in the earth. That's not enough. They gotta harness your soul too, bitch. <laughs> they gotta harness your chakra wheels. They gotta be like, yeah, make that shit rotate, bitch. Oh God, like this shit is hard, yo. I even congratulate them. Cause when I look at the shit they was able to do, they got everybody fucked up good. You know, when they talk about the story of the Tower of Babel, that's them just basically saying, oh yeah, you know, we came to the earth, bitch. We gilded, we builded, and we made you motherfuckers minds in a certain way. So now keep coming back and building for our security, safety, and you know, material because you know, if you a lot of spirits here is like you know, in the early stages is like you becoming like a having an animalistic stage. You don't necessarily need to animate yourself in the high capacity. So you might be a fucking tree. Some niggas might become dirt. Then you know, you become like a bug, an animal, become like a you know, a human. But it's based on individual experience and things like that. So you can even go straight. In those ladders and shit like that. You can be like zoom zoom. Climb the whole Kabbalah tree. Zoom 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 zoom. It's I be creating. You be creating the fucking light. You be creating the fucking path. You be expanding yourself how the fuck you want. Not how somebody else wants you to. Ah oh, nah brother praise Jesus. Nah you create your whole motherfucking system. You fucking guild. You fucking build. It's not about. You just sitting back, you know, coddling someone else's system, like that's 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 the last thing on on your last breath. And they're gonna and they're gonna increase their taxes. Oh, you wanna live in this place? You gotta you got you gotta pay this much, bitch. It's how much it costs to be in our society. And so you know, we give all this energy away. We give all of this currency away. And they're just using us to like open these star portals metaphorically in the form of them being able to hop and create their situation in the space-time continuum and you know based on based on us developing our mentality like how uh, how we wanted to we in like the same you know subconscious place that they want us to be so they can come anytime reap the fuck out of us and come kill your mind they can be like ah oh, yeah it's not the light uh it's the a it's the atmosphere or whatever the fuck they want to say they can just Say whatever the fuck they want, cause they in control of this lexicon, bitch. This shit is literally like, if you ever saw the movies, like in Doctor Strange, there's probably maybe one scene where time was collapsed on itself. There was ladders going up, down, left, right, in and out, all that. That's what they created in the form of grammar and shit like that. And then they played it out through Sunday and th and Saturday, and it it became it became so deep where they play that out through the 165 degrees of the ear and they have plans on plans on plans uh this doesn't work okay let's try this that doesn't work let's try that you know because it all it's all just a mental game they just hard in the mind they hard mentally and they they are basically harnessing energy the most and we out here slacking the most we like oh we need you guys god we need y'all banks, but no problem. But use that shit like a bitch, though. Just use the bank like a bitch to get to your goal. Because who said they smarter than us? Who said they made a system where we can't figure it out and play them like fools and things like that and shit like that? Real shit. So, this how the game be. This how the game be. They fucking be killing you guys' thoughts and feelings. They be 
slashing your thoughts and feelings. They're like, nah, don't think like this, bitch. They come in like, come in like a good big, big old, big old Arab with a scimitar sword. Ah, like cutting your heads off. They're like, nah, you can't use Aries, bitch. Don't have your own idea. Ah, uh, you can't be a man. Don't externalize shit. Don't transform nothing outside of you. I got the game fucked up. We talking about just basically we talking about the hippocampus area, you know, the brain. You being able to create your own vision and shit like that. And sometimes we have to train that area and things like that. So this sub these subconscious wars be deep as fuck, to the point that you might have done something right now, but you don't really understand the consequence of it and the circumstance of it way down the line, based on the legalities and uh, you know wording system that they created and things like that. Oh. You are uh, like a uh, real fucking shit, real fucking shit. These this this the lexicon don't play. You gotta know how to jump, went to duck, went to uh, heap left, right. Now you gotta do that, do that shit at will. And at some point, you want to create like you know, a real universe, a real world where you're able to like you know, you have a you have your own land mentally, and you have people coming to that land checking out that mentality in the form of an intellectual property and things like that and that's why the goal is to you know motherfucking build and not get lost in, in the circumstance that someone else created with they shit and we mean our spirit might not necessarily agree with that because it's stopping us from you know recycling our energy and moving in the shape or form of a wheel as a form of an up and down uh however you want to signify how your own spirit move as a form of a sigil Whatever that sigil that you did in the esoteric realm for you to manifest yourself here, based on you having a mind that doesn't necessarily change, you just always was vibrating on that subconsciously. Zoom, came back down here, bitch. Third dimension, come back. Or you, or or some people was even just from here. But that's the thing, man. The shadow wars is deep. The shadow wars is deep, and that's why it takes a lot for a lot of people to do shadow work. A lot of shadow work. You got to do like, you got to dive deep in yourself and be honest and really reflect. Like, hmm, why don't I like this person? Hmm, why does this piss me off? Hmm, why can't I handle this? Hmm, real shit. You got to like real shit because you're 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 you you your spirit God will never lie to you. But we build things to lie to ourselves. And things like that. I'm not saying don't be rich, don't have money. Nah, get that money. Be rich. You know, that's just a resource and shit like that, as far as I'm concerned. And then that's not that's not even really the problem at all, or anything like or anything like that. We just get lost in this subconscious shadow war and things like that. And you know, based on us just developing from animalistic natures, from fearing the unknown, uh, you know. We're really just discovering ourselves because when you see the darkness, you're really just self-reflecting an area that you are aware of inside of yourself and you need, that you need to expand, but you haven't put necessarily energy work into that area and things like that. So that's why it get deep. We, we never changed what we was doing. We was all just doing it in different ways, playing different positions, playing different roles. This is why you even have the whole theater movement and things like that, the whole visual style movement the whole you know all these things is because it comes from this it comes from this darkness it comes from self-discovery it comes from curiosity it comes from it comes it comes from these attributes and characteristics that lead to these that lead to these you know predetermined destinations that we will always do but based on us being lost in the shadow garment system of using our thoughts and feelings you know we become polarized in certain areas and docile in certain areas and not understand that we're supposed to apply ourselves based on us even previewing something that's harshly, negatively, extremely, that doesn't agree with our internal our mentality and things like that. So real shit. That's the Shadow Wars, man. And you know, check out the link tree below. Some powerful, powerful information and presentation for you. And uh, yeah, infinitely, we're going to see you guys next time, or at least I will.